One of the most exciting and pressure-packed moments of the 2002 Olympic Winter Games in Salt Lake transpired during the finals of the men's aerials competition in freestyle skiing. U.S. ski team member and Park City local Joe Pack, competing in front of a huge hometown crowd, stood poised for his final run. Any hope of an Olympic medal rested on his ability to be perfect. The rest, as they say, is history. The Olympic silver was his. Although born in Oregon, Pack spent much of his youth on the opposite side of the country in New Hampshire. The product of athletic parents, he enjoyed a wide range of sports, especially soccer, baseball, and yes, ski jumping. Jumping is a high school sport in the Northeast, and by the time he was eight, Joe was following in his brother Jeremy's tracks onto the jumps. He would even compete in the Junior Nationals in Alaska. The Olympic Training Center in Lake Placid not only became an important part of his training regimen, but also led to an early appreciation for Olympic sports. By the time he was 12, Pack had ridden the 90-meter ski jump in Placid, and to this day, he credits his experiences in the former Olympic town for helping to shape him into a world-class athlete. While ski jumping would not eventually define his future, jumping of a different sort was an integral part of his career. The hot muggy summers in the east made the prospect of landing in a pool as a part of freestyle aerials training sound so much more appealing. Given his well-rounded sports background, confidence in his ability and body awareness from having to compete against older athletes, Joe soon developed into one of the country's leading aerialists. In 1996, at the age of 17, he won the World Junior Aerials Championship. Forced to the sidelines by a knee injury in the 1998 Olympic season, Pack, an Olympic champion and Hall of Fame teammate Eric Bogost, would provide a solid one-two punch for the American team in international competition in the years that followed. He captured a bronze medal in the 1999 World Championships and was third overall in World Cup aerials the following winter. The 2001 Worlds resulted in a repeat of his bronze medal performance and he finished the World Cup season ranked second in aerials and third overall. All of this would lead to his silver moment in Salt Lake. Retiring from active competition in 2006, Pack left the sport with 16 World Cup podiums, three World Cup wins, and two World Championship medals. Today, Joe Pack, one of the most popular freestyle athletes of his day, climbs to the top of the podium once again as a recipient of the Medal of Honor and honored membership in the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame.